Hey guys, welcome to another episode of P Tom Theater. I'm Ryan Telgenick, and I'm here with Scott Butterworth. Woo! And uh, today we're going to talk about our top five favorite trailers from the VGAs. Yes, hard to believe that was just five days I know, ago. And there were a lot of good trailers that came out of it too. There really so were. We like, got a lot to talk about. Yeah, regardless of how you feel about the VGAs, there were some really cool reveals, some really great trailers. So we're going to give you our favorite and five. Some super fantastic arrow to the knee jokes. Woo! Oh god, that meme came and went so fast. Thank it, like god it went, it went from well, funny it to, needs to be gone. Degrading within like a week. Yeah, I know. But back to the trailers. Uh, yes. We'll start things off with Bioshock Infinite. Yes. Probably good. the third or fourth trailer to come out about this game. Not definitely not the first, but easily the most uh, artistic with its yeah, its absolutely. very kind of somber, melodramatic uh, soundtrack behind some nice gameplay footage. I think that the song is actually sung by the voice actress who voices Elizabeth in the game. Yeah, I had no idea. Which is really cool. And the song is actually a traditional folk song f- that was written uh, during the era in which the game is set. Really great attention to detail yeah, by like the irrational team. Yeah, such a cool looking place, like this city in the sky, like with all these kind of hook things connecting all the parts of it together. Yeah, that's that's sort of the other most compelling part of the trailer. We get a really nice look at the uh, the city, and they've really kind of embraced their own style here. They didn't, you know, they're not going for realism. Clearly, they've yeah. they very much uh, created this stylized world and have embraced their own you know visual vocabulary. We get a really good look at it here, and a really good look at some of the action with all like the sky hook stuff going Which on. Looks fantastic. Really does look super super fun and. And, uh, you know, all, this, all the shooting mechanics, I'm sure, will be super solid. I mean, the Bioshock games have always been really great shooters. So and, of course, the cool steampunk stuff. Yeah, all, this, all the uh, steampunk details, the crazy robot guy there at the end. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And that brings us to our next our next big trailer, which is The, the Last, Last of Us. So this was my favorite We said trailer. that in unison. It was yes. really cute. <laughs> this is your favorite? This was my favorite, and I'm super pumped that uh, it was indeed Naughty Dog behind the game. Uh, we saw the they saw the teaser in Uncharted Three with the newspaper clip on the in the bar scene in the opening. Right, that's that the least used egg. like the fungal infection. And right, it's really crazy. Like uh, this mind controlling fungus that's taken over humanity, and now it, civilization has collapsed and is being overrun by vegetation. Fungus, bane of really my existence. Really cool. Like this. <laughs> The, the top tier Uncharted 2 developers are behind this game as well yeah, as yeah, one yeah. of the top it was, designers of uh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West, which I loved. Me so. too, actually. I have a real soft spot for that game. The narrative and the and characters really in the game were... in here, too. Like yeah, you can, you can see the character connections from Uncharted with like that kind of visual style of Enslaved, even. Yeah. It's well, and when I watch this, I don't know if this was intentional, but I just can't help but think Walking Dead. Like... This to yeah. me, like I immediately think Walking Dead, like the idea of normal everyday people trying to survive in a world gone crazy, yeah. fighting against you know monsters of whatever sort. And uh, I really hope it's that survival element that they capture as opposed yeah. to just another shooter. Like I definitely agree. I really hope that there's as much emphasis on survival as there is on the shooting mechanics and all that. Yeah. yeah. Well, with Naughty Dog behind it, I'm sure that they have a good chance. Of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited if for no other reason than Naughty Dog behind it. I have so much faith in that team. Which brings us to... Trailer number three. I think this was my favorite. This and was a really strong trailer. And I, I realized that this was built specifically to be controversial. Like, yes. this was designed to push people's buttons. But and I think I'm that sure it's it it's too, it's yeah. really compelling and, and genuinely dangerous. And, and something that I think will actually offend and frighten people that it's willing to suggest these ideas. And, um, it, uh, and it's got such a controversial direction, too, because it is, you know, drawing very obvious parallels to things that are happening in our Oh, yeah, it's time. it's remarkably timely. It's like, so now, you know, all these frustrated people, they finally have a channel for their political energy, and, and this could potentially, you know, this is... Right, I mean, just insane. to suggest that the inevitable end result of uh, denying peaceful protesters the change that they demand is violent protest... Is that's a really uh, frightening suggestion, but I, I think it's it's a it's you know one that's true to history. I mean, there's that famous JFK quote, right? Of uh, uh, those who make uh, peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. I think is the quote, and that's really what this trailer is based on. And I think it does a really good job of, of conveying that, and this really like cold and compelling way. It's I, I really agree. Exciting. I've never been more excited for a Rainbow Six game than I, I haven't either. Games, so <laughs> actually, I'm really pumped to see what they do with it. Definitely. And then this brings us to trailer number four, Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance. Vengeance. Is Reven- <laughs> what is it? Revenge is back with a vengeance. vengeance. That's so cool. Revengeance. <laughs> <laughs> Makes so much sense. But <laughs> it's super you know, it's, ridiculous. It's interesting that this game had been canceled internally. Yeah. And then it was, you know, once Platinum Games took it over, it came back. But, I, you know, I, I have a lot of faith in Platinum because oh, uh, totally. Bayonetta... And Vanquish. Vanquish. They were both, both fantastic games. Yeah, amazing action games. And and really, it, it fits this uh, title and the idea behind this IP very, very well. It does. Um, they, I mean, they, they do swordplay well. They do action, frantic gameplay very well. 
it, I think I think they are a perfect fit for this game. Yeah, and, I and I'm even more excited about it now. I mean, it's it's, it's a shame that you know Kojima isn't going to be more involved. But if we could pick a third par party developer platinum to work on this, most Platinum sense. makes Absolutely. the most sense. Totally. Um, and and the trailer itself is you know really ridiculous with its like heavy metal soundtrack and the revenge in subtitle. But uh, it's man. It looks really fun. It just looks super fun, and it's the first time I've ever felt good about Raiden. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, it's going to be awesome. But and that brings us to our final trailer, since we're going really long here. Uh, Tony Hawk HD. This one's a little kind of... I, I think for both of us, this is just kind of I a, played the crap out of this oh, game. Oh, me too. And this exact like, series of tricks that he's pulling off. Like, you had to do that when you were playing horse. If you didn't nail that, you like had no chance. Clearly the guys who put this trailer together knew what they were doing, because uh -huh. they picked like the definitive line of uh, combos from the first game. I mean, this is the first level from the first game. Everyone did that launch over the half yep, pipe, land the on the rail. Like, you immediately recognize it. And I like that they didn't even bother to set this to music. They just let the let the <laughs> game play out. It's just like all that nostalgia comes back full force, punch in the face. And it very well could be the revival that the Tony Hawk series needs very yeah. badly. I mean, man, that, that series really, really went downhill. So I'm excited to get back to the roots the button mashy arcade gameplay that made the series fun in the first place. Yeah. Super it's excited. Be fantastic, yeah, so. totally. But I think uh, that'll do it. This yeah. one's gone really long, but thank you for sticking through all of it. And uh, let us know what uh, what you guys thought of all the trailers. For Definitely sure in the comments. What was your favorite VGA trailer? Let us know and, uh, and tune in next week. Maybe you'll even win some uh, free mysterious stuff from our stuff. We box. have a lot of stuff. Our, our mysterious stuff, stuff box things. is very full. So, uh, anyways, let us know what you thought, and we'll catch you next week. Bye.